Thank you very much. So let me start with, uh, with a few facts. So for instance, like 33% 30, of all the cyber crimes, they happen very quickly, namely much quicker than it takes to, to pour a cup of tea. On the other hand, I mean, if you have been attacked, it typically takes uh, in, in the around 200 days until you notice that, that you, you have been attacked, or until a, like a company, when, when they have been attacked, it takes them so much time to notice that someone was going on. So it's, it's, it's a large separation here. Also, if you look at the black market, if you try to buy a set of uh, identity information, so like typical identity theft, name, address, credit card number, etc. So the information you need to, to steal somebody's identity, like 10 years ago or more like for rather 15 years ago, uh, that set of information was worth $150. Today it's uh, just as below a single dollar even. But that, that doesn't mean that your information is worthless, but r rather it means that the, the, the market is work, working very well. So if the market works well, the, the, the prices go down. It also means there is an abundance of, of this information available, so it's very easy to get a set of uh, uh, identity information to be able to use, uh, to do identity fraud, and so that's why, why the prices have uh, gone, gone, down, gone down so much. On the other hand, the number of uh, uh, the, the, mo the money that is lost, the damages worldwide, and so that's the figure for 2015, was uh, about, or is estimated, $15 billion. So it's a huge damage here, a huge market. And I guess at the end of the day, that's what, what we want to prevent from happening. Uh, or also, if you work in security, if you work in cryptography, that's sort of the, the money that you could uh, potentially try to, uh, to get for, for more secure s solution, or maybe a, a, at least a good fraction of that. Uh, and I guess the problem here is also that if you do cybercrime for the attacker, it's very easy to hide in the vast space of, of, uh, uh, of cyberspace. So it, it's, it's very easy to make them. You can make them remotely. You don't even have to. I mean, if you burglar a home, you have to go there. You have to break in and steal stuff. If you do it in, in cyberspace, you can do it remotely. It's much, uh, much harder to, to catch somebody. And typically, also here, even if you would recognize quite quickly that you have been attacked, it takes also like, like a couple of months if, uh, to, to, to identify the person. Usually they do leave traces, uh, but it takes a long, long time to really fi find that out. And, and so I think from that point of view, we do have a problem today, and it's uh, not going, uh, going away. It's becoming much, much worse. And the reason I'm showing this picture here is that that's uh, Buzz Aldrin, and his footprints here on the moon, they, they are still there today, although that happened more than uh, 